Listen, on a daily basis, millions of people across the world are posting stuff online, especially on social media. But how safe is it really? Now, we wanted to find out how easy it would be to get the personal information from complete strangers and then approach them uh, as a fake psychic and then reveal their most intimate details to them. Take a look. Using the power of social media, we searched the closest Twitter, Instagram and other social media posts to our current location and approached random strangers at the waterfront with a fake psychic. The reason I came to you is because I'm just feeling a very strong connection to you. So, am I right in saying that your star sign is Libra? Yes, okay. So I'm just going to try and work out your name. <laughs> Something... To... It's, it's, it's a letter, but it sounds like what it's not. It sounds like a G, but it's not. It's a, it's a K. Komotsu. Yes. Jafta? Yes. Jafta. What did you Komotsu ask? Komotsu Jafta. <laughs> Very strong connections, you know. Me. Really quick reading. Oh. The basics. We're trying to figure out your name. Getting a picture, and it's kind of to do with um, sunburn. So I'm thinking um, something that happens in the sun, and something to do with getting a, a tan, perhaps. So is your name Tennille? Yes. Yeah. Tennille. Okay. <laughs> All right. I feel like you were married recently. Is this is this your new husband? Yes. Yeah. It sounds like a girl's name. Is it Steph? That's it? No, Where have you been hiding? Steph, no, I've just been feeling this connection. And I'm, I'm guessing you, you didn't grow up here. Uh, I'm thinking uh, sort of on the other side of the country. Something on the uh, on the eastern side. Um, 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 Tata. Mm -hmm. Victoria. Who is this? Oh, well, 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 well. <laughs> you, Are you getting tired of this? I know. I'm getting freaked out. Thinking of a cat. Do you mm -hmm. have a cat? Yes. Now I'm thinking it's, it's something to do with a, a season. <laughs> And then something that's not difficult, it's Winteasy? Yes. Winteasy. Okay. <laughs> okay. This is so weird. How are you doing this? Okay, well, the good news is that I'm not actually a psychic. In actual fact, we got all this information from your social media. Oh uh, and that's how we got all this information. Uh, we found your Instagram posts. Uh, you lying <laughs> to me! <laughs> and this is a social media experiment, and it's basically about a sort of cautioning people about what they post online. So we saw your post at the restaurant uh, with your steak that you were eating, your chili chocolate steak. Yes. And from there we were able to go and get information from your Facebook profile okay. and from your Instagram. I should um, stop hashtagging yeah. immediately. Yeah. <laughs> it's not the hashtag, it's actually the geolocation. I mean, that's how we were able to track exactly where you were. So yes. when you post, uh, the best thing probably is to switch off your GPS. Cool. Oh my gosh. Oh! I'm able to literally pinpoint exactly where you are. You came to here to find me and freak me out like that. Thank you. Yeah. Sorry. Nice. When it comes to posting online, be careful where and what you post because anyone can gather information on you using just your social media profile. <laughs> so if you're also thinking you're lying to me <laughs> and asking who is that oak, he's our fake psychic, Ross Stacey, who joins us this morning, as well as our social media guru, Grant Hines. Dude, well done on a crazy experiment, <laughs> but also, I think, very effective in, tra in translating through a very important message. But let's just go out quickly. How did you do it, and how easy was it? So look, I mean, we're, we're posting constantly, all of us, on social media, but what many of us don't realize is that um, unless you manually are, are checking the settings on your, on your mobile apps, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, you're basically embedding a location into your tweets, into your Instagrams, so people can track exactly where you're posting. So there's a number of free apps, and they're available online. It's, it's actually frighteningly easy. Wow, and they're man. basically able to, to show you um, not only what you posted, but where and when you posted. So we headed down to the waterfront, and uh, we essentially um, just waited for somebody to post something. And the first person that posted something was a young lady who was posting a, an Instagram photo of her chili cheese steak um, at a restaurant. So we essentially went there, uh, found out what she looked like through her Instagram <laughs> profile. And from there, we were able to basically link up to her Facebook, to her Twitter, uh, to her LinkedIn, and basically just got all this personal information about her, which we then approached her with. Wow, I think Komoto Jaffa just got like an extra 50,000 followers. <laughs> <I> just <laughs> ran her entire reel there. But I mean, okay, so lots of them surprised, a bit of shock, but I mean, was there a real sense of kind of nervousness, a sense of danger from these people that you stalked? Uh, yeah, I mean, once once I had revealed how I did it, I mean, they were actually more comfortable with the idea of a psychic than a, a social media stalker, which That's, is a well, little yeah. bit strange, yeah. Labels. But um, no, I mean, look, it's, it's, it's a scary feeling to think that somebody has stalked you and gathered personal information about you. So, you know, we share so much of our lives, and I think uh, a lot of people don't realize just how much uh, information people are able to collect. I mean, yeah, I'm talking yeah. in a matter of minutes uh, before we approached her, her, her full name, her family name, 
uh, you know, her friends' names, where she lives, where My she goodness. works, where she studies, where she hangs out, um, <gasps> even her cat's name. That's know, so. crazy. Yeah. So, Grant, how, how can people then go about protecting themselves and preventing this kind of social media stalkerism going on? Well, there's a lot of benefits to having location services uh, on your phone. Yeah. So, when those things are defaulted, it's not necessarily something that's insidious by those companies. Mm -hmm. So, put, bear that in mind before you do it. But stuff like uh, uh, metadata inside your photographs, of any photograph you've taken. What is it? What's metadata? So, uh, there's data inside your image that you take with your camera. Even, yeah. but, even you don't realize, but it's there. You can actually post that photo to Facebook and you can retrieve metadata data from that photo and it can okay. find out where those location settings are. So the best thing to do is to switch off all your location services if you're worried about this yeah, kind yeah, of thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because like when you, when you uh, activate your phone in the beginning, by default, all location settings are on because the smartphone uh, kind of thinks that you want, you'd want they to want use. They want to track you, yeah. Yeah, so you just go into general settings. Location settings is one thing. It's usually under privacy, yeah. so it's not under location, which is really hard to find. And then you go and you slide it off to off. Okay. When you are entering another app, say for instance Twitter or Instagram, they will often prompt you saying, hey, do you want to share your location? Yeah, and you, yeah, might, yeah. you might even tap it by accident. I've done this all the time. Yeah. And then it will bring you back to the location settings app for you to switch it on. From there, you can actually choose where, what apps you want to be on or not. Yeah, so if you yeah. want Twitter to give away your location, but not Facebook, you can do that. It yeah. allows you to do that. Yeah. Uh, but it's up to you, you know what I mean, as yeah. an individual. And I also find like, obviously setting your account to also reveal who you want to have your images revealed to like only my friends because mm. you'd only accept those kind of people into your mm, friendship mm, circle. Mm. But yeah, great experiment as I said, Ross, and uh, thanks for the advice there, Grant. So remember to always make sure that you are protecting yourself, especially when it comes to social media because we're part of millions of millions of across the world who are posting their lives and sharing everything about themselves on social media. So do think twice before you post. But right now, let's find out what else is coming up on your Feel Good Breakfast show uh, to, with uh, Ewan.